Okay, so the areas we were talking about to do with young, uh, basically supporting and starting an entre entrepreneurial business with young people, these are some of the core challenges that we've pulled out here. So I want to sort of draw them together. There's a big area here, which is around finance, yeah? And that's basically this question of getting money from who? How are you getting money to start your business, yeah? So, and that's really, really crucial. And this idea is about perception of how you source money. So the idea that it might just be that a young person thinks, oh, I go to the bank to get money. But actually, it's about I can fundraise in different ways. I can apply for money in different ways. I can get money from different sources. And about a more nuanced understanding of that, looking up different initiatives, for example, challenges of getting hold of uh, microfinance or where can you get it, those kind of ideas. Something here, as a big sort of area here, I want to pick up around um, sort of knowing, basically. So the idea is actually knowing you can start your own business, having the confidence to be able to start your own business, and also breaking that down a bit. So what is that type of business? Just see what I mean. What is the type of stuff that you're, you're, you're starting? What does it mean? Because business is a bit of a generic word, actually. It's a lot of types. Um, something here around tools to support the running of businesses. So for example, it's, to run a business, you don't need to know everything. To run a business, you might need to know a particular aspect, but then you can outsource your accounting, for example. So it's about why the, where's, the, where's the access to those types of tools and to enable people to understand their role in doing a business. And linked to that is not just specific task-related tools, but also how we're using existing tools, for example, like Facebook or social media, in a more business-orientated way. So how are you sharing or engaging with leads, for example, on Facebook or that kind of stuff. Okay, moving across here, really big area around models of working. So the idea behind here is that the models of working that we have maybe at the moment um, aren't you know, sort of traditional, I go and get a job, isn't really what we're talking about, yeah? It's about having a new approach, maybe a more portfolio approach, maybe starting things, coming together in a loose collaboration to do a business for a bit, and then moving on. So it's about how do we enable that flexibility? Um, Linked to that is this idea around funding, I suppose, and the idea that funding is a bit of a long way round. So the idea is that you know, you've got to sort of be a business and that will be up and running before you can apply for the funding, where in fact you might be someone saying, oh, there's some money, let's try and get something together um, loosely to do something around it. So how are we having that flexibility in the availability of the funding? Which I suppose is something, something, some of the stuff around Kickstarter, that kind of crowdsourced approaches are more in the area we'd like to be rather than another one. Um, uh, so linking onto that as well, it's just coming up here, so that you can see the part to here, which is this idea about this is really important. This is about the freedom to try and fail in relation to benefits. Yeah. So if you're on benefits and you try and become self unemployed, you lose your unemployed um, status. You lose some of your benefits, where in fact that's unrealistic because when you start a business, it might take you two years to, to turn a profit around. So how are we doing that? That's a really, really big issue that everyone really, really felt was really important. Um, just moving over to this side a little bit. So we've got this idea about what stage are we supporting young people as well. So up here we've got this idea about helping people inquire. So for example, it's not just, you know, it's how do we start to generate that idea of people thinking, oh, I might try this. And how do they get the information as they're going along? Those sort of challenges. So it's not just, I know I'm going to run a business and I need to go and find out all my business plan. It's like, how do you support and start people on that journey? Um, obviously around technical process, the chaining. There's this with this training area, if we just sort of jump over here, we've got relevance of training. So this idea that actually there's a big gap between theoretical business planning that you might get and the reality of running a business which is very much on the ground. Yeah, How are we enabling? That's a real challenge. How are we enabling people to get that on the ground experience? Um, brilliant. Just coming down into this sort of quarter here for the last time. Got supporting young people's motivations to start business, structures around young people working, you know, so that regulation, freelance status, how do we, all that stuff around that flexible models of working. Down here, we've got some stuff around restrictions. So the challenges around the perceived restrictions on young people starting something. I can't do it because of this. I can't do it because I haven't got the money. And that's the actual restrictions, which is, well, are there barriers to opportunities? You know, in which case, how do we get over those? Um, uh, realizing their skills so they can do it and um, again you see there's another real key theme here around this sort of sense about the mindset so this mindset that I can work flexibly I can work collaboratively and they might have that but we're lacking the structures to do something around it that's the main sort of area yep so just flipping over there so um, I've got a kind of overall behind this is pretty much um, do you want me to pause this for a sec actually just while I pull these off so these are basically a big sort of summary. Oh, you've got the detail of the issues there. This is some of the more thematic um, understanding that we've drawn out. I'll just move these off because all these little points are relevant to it. 
really big stuff around projects, models of working. How are we supporting the more flexible portfolio, flexible approach to working? Sorry, it's that one here. Yeah, what is the business? How are we supporting these people coming together, linking to different sorts of funds? You know, how are we supporting this different, more flexible way of working? Yeah, how are we linking demand and supply for money and for opportunities? One example in this, in a very concrete way, is Task Rabbit, which is this idea that we put up a job that we want doing and someone else does it. I suppose the Amazon Mechanical Turk thing, that's another area where people put up jobs they want to do. The idea is this is supporting a more flexible freelancing portfolio of way of working, which might be more in the sphere of entrepreneurship. Um, just coming over here, training and relevance. How do you support people to try it on the job? We basically concluded if you start another training course, something's gone wrong. Yeah, So we shouldn't, that's not really working. It never has. Um, something here around finance. Um, where are you getting your money? Fundraising barriers, all that kind of stuff. That's, I sort of covered that. Status, really important area again, self-employed. Where you, if you, how do you move out that, that gap of being employed to, to unemployed if your business is just starting? Okay, getting your tools and the sort of mindset and all that sort of stuff and the, and the knowledge and your technical skills. Uh, those are those sort of main areas. So do you want these ones as well? No, that's fine. Cool. Okay, I think that's everything.